Callaway Super Hybrid versus the Callaway Apex UW. Which one goes further? Well, you're about to find out right now. Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell. I'm joined by Danny Farrell. We're both master club fitters at the Second Swing Minnetonka store. And today we're gonna be doing a club comparison comparing a couple of new Callaway hybrids. Mm -hmm. Well, hybrids slash fairy woods. <laughs> right. 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 Uh, so yeah, we've got the Callaway Apex UW, which recently came out. I know Phil, Phil Mickelson's had yeah. a lot of input on the design on that. Yes. And also we have the Super Hybrid, a okay. new generation of the Super Hybrid. Mm -hmm. Both designed to go far, yeah. both designed to have some distance behind them. And we're going to compare them head to head and see which one goes the furthest. So guys, we're going to start off first with the Apex UW. Like you said, a lot of tour inspiration going into this couple differences with this and the hybrid though. So let's get into a little bit about that. First off, you'll notice there's no lie angle adjustment. We can't play with loft, we can't play with lie. It's a bonded setup. So that makes it a little bit lighter here. That way they can throw all the weight back and further in, into the head. Now, also um, comes in kind of the 19 degree. That's what we're gonna be testing today. 19 versus uh, kind of 18 in the super hybrid. So I would expect this probably to launch a little bit lower might span a little bit less. But talk to me about the Super Hybrid, the benefits there. Yeah, I think uh, like you talk about the Apex UW, it's yeah. the other differences there too, is this a steel face? True. But this is Big. a titanium face. Yeah, yeah. And just the way the head's designed, the way you talked about the weight a little bit, it's mm -hmm. pushed forward with the Apex UW. It's in yeah. a very neutral position. Correct. It does look like that with the Super Hybrid. Mm -hmm. However, we'll notice that you look kind of look at the deep into the tech, you'll notice it's got that extra tungsten. Sure. It's got like 90 grams of tungsten in the super hybrid, yeah. which is pushed back a little bit. So initially my thought is, well, the, the center of gravity is pushed back. It might spin a little bit more. It might be a little more forgiving. Right. Well, the Apex UW, I'm expecting to be pretty hot. Right, right. You talked about weighting, right? 90 grams of tungsten in there. That's quite a bit. It's almost comparing it to uh, the Apex Pro irons, right? And then going into the Apex UW, we only have 17.6. So I'm not a mathematician, but I know that's a lot less than what's going on in the super hybrid. Right, and it's designed for different golfers, essentially. It's yeah. This is designed to be, you know, it's, it's almost a fairy wood is what it is. <laughs> right. Well, right. this is designed to maybe have a little higher ball of flight and maybe stop a little bit of stopping power. Sure. Um, tech with the super hybrid, so does have the velocity blades. Yep. So they both have the velocity blades. Yep. It has a flash face. So as I mentioned, it's the titanium face with it. Yeah, versus steel. Versus right. steel. Yep. Yep. And then I'm um, talking about adjustability. Big we time. mentioned the Apex UW does not have the adjust adjustable no. hosel. No. However, this does have adjustability. You can right. go up a couple of degrees a lot. You can make it yep. more upright. True. Uh, you can go down by one degree there too. And I think that's why it comes with a little bit more premium price. True. It's just it's got a little bit more adjustable options. To Absolutely. It. Yeah. Uh, one other thing we notice here is the super hybrid has a little bit more availability for the more lefty love essentially. <laughs> right. So you've got the three, four, and five of the super hybrid. You can get left-handed. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the two and the six you can't get left-handed, but with the adjustable options, you can definitely Absolutely. turn it down or turn the loft up a little bit. Yeah. However, the Apex UW only comes left-handed in the 19 degree. Right. So that's a little different um, yeah. there as well. And then price difference. The, the Apex UW is quite a bit less yeah. than the super hybrid be based on the adjustable options you got with this. True, true. Yep. Um, we're gonna be testing today with their stock golf shafts, mm -hmm. both stiff version. The steel fiber FC 75 mm -hmm. that comes with the super hybrid yep. and you're holding the hazardous, is that right? Yep, the smoke RDX black. Yep. That, that comes with the Apex UW. Yep. So these are both stiff shafts as we're testing them. Mm -hmm. Lengthwise, just a little bit difference in length, yeah. and, and lie angle is pretty close. But yeah. Uh, yeah, so the length with the Apex UW is 41 and a half inches. Right. Well, this is 40.9 essentially. Right. So it's just a little bit shorter. Loft differences, finally, tech. If you take a look at the Epic Super Hybrid, 18 degrees of loft, stated loft. Yep. Yep. We've got 19, 19 degrees of loft on the Apex UW. Let's start out from there because okay. we know usually in fittings. The less loft you have, the more ball speed, True. the further the ball is going to go. Yeah. But I have a little suspicion here that Apex UW, based on our original swing report, mm -hmm. might be pretty hot for a 19 degree. I, I think so club. too. I think this is going to deliver that kind of driver DNA that they talk about, the low spin tendencies. Put the pedal down and let it go. I'm excited to hit some shots because I'm always looking for a fairy wood replacement. It might just be the one. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. A couple things we're testing with too, the new RCT golf ball from Titleist. We've seen great things. You've got the Pro V1X down. Now, 
let's see kind of how we lead out with the super hybrid. We'll take kind of four shots with that, and we'll go back into the utility wood after that. Sounds good. It's a little right. Okay. Not bad. That might be a little really straighter. Good there. Mm -hmm. yeah, still a decent amount of spin though. Yeah, over 4,000. Height was great, you know, 120. So hit it right in the middle of the face, but we kind of expected that kind of spin rate, right? You took a guess at that right. earlier. Yeah, that's a lot of stopping power there. Mm -hmm. Really good. That was good. Spin. Really good. Well, 100 mile an hour is on the, on the nump nut right there for four swings. <laughs> Pretty darn good. Yeah, so, yeah, definitely one thing I noticed is the spin rate. Consistently, the spinning fairly high. Right. In the 4,000s, and that's a decent amount of, that's a lot of spin for, <laughs> for, for a hybrid. hybrid. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And, you know, talking a little bit about your efficiency, obviously, we know you. You don't miss much in the middle of the face, so that's a given there. Um, other things that kind of stood out is, look at the height as well. You know, for something that is lower lofted like that, sometimes it's harder for players to get up in the air. But I love to see the height, love to see the spin. What's your reaction, you know, face-wise when you first put it down? How is that? It's, uh, it's quite large. Okay. It's, it definitely looks forgiving. It inspires confidence. Good. Uh, the face is quite tall, yeah. what it looks like. Okay. Um, so it just looks like a little bit more gamey, I guess. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be interested to see what, when I put the other one down, see what that looks like at a dress, because I feel like when I initially tested, I really liked the look of that particular yeah. model. But yeah, this is, uh, it looks like it's designed to give a little higher launch and mm -hmm. so far what we're seeing spin. So I will be surprised if the uh, Apex UW spins as much as this did. Yeah, same here. And we're also testing kind of titanium versus steel in the phase two. So I'd love to hear your feedback if anything comes out there. So let's give that utility what a shot here. All right. So this is supposed to have that driver DNA to it. A little bit lower spin tendencies. Might be a bomber here, Thomas. Might be a bomber. Yeah, it, it looks good at address. Ball speeds up. Spin is down. Yeah, it's a rocket. There's a little more spin. Kay. I didn't quite hit that one as well. Okay. But so even still, for a miss hit, mm -hmm. notice that spin rate still about Way 700 down. RPMs less than what we're seeing with the right. Um, right. super hybrid. Yeah, so those misses tend to go a little bit further for you. Really, really good. Maybe just a little left. Yeah. Well, interesting tendency right off the bat. I feel like I was hitting this one, you know, left a little bit more consistently. Mm -hmm. And you think maybe that influences the spin a little bit, but I still don't think that's, you know, the, the real the real story here. Right. When we try and like break those down, I mean, look at that. That's dramatic on the spin. I mean, 1,500 RPMs on average. It's now carrying past what that super hybrid was rolling out to, at the same loft. Right. right? So that tells you about the CG or where that is. We spoke to that earlier. That's really, really good stuff. This golf shaft is just a little bit over half an inch longer than what the super hybrid golf True. shaft is. Yep. You take a look at the club speed, 100 versus 102. Yeah. Um, so we'll definitely come back into a, a second round. Sure. But you're noticing the efficiency about the same launch angle. Yeah, kind of about the same. But yeah, the spin and that carry distance and how the ball flies is right. what we're noticing the difference between these two so Absolutely. far. Absolutely. Did, did anything come out between, you know, a steel face rather than titanium? Did anything come out there from you? The titanium fa face felt harsher okay. off, the, off the face. Okay. This felt a little bit more like, not so much mush, but it was less more muted is okay. what I noticed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's go back and kind of see what we can do with test number two on okay. that super hybrid. So yeah, that spin. I mean, round two, same kind of thing. The spin rate was up there. Yeah. Similar kind of carry distance. Similar kind of total distance. Yeah. Very, very similar. Similar to carry. Bowl, Similar club speed. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> same exact <laughs> height. That's funny. Yep. Even even still, like I'll admit, these weren't my best swings that I've ever put together. Yeah. Swing is feeling off today, mm -hmm. but even you can still notice that the data is kind of speaking for itself. Now right. I'm expecting. 
Hopefully I can straighten it out a little bit because <laughs> I didn't like the fact that I was hitting it left with the, with the UW. Okay. More yeah. user error for me, my face just being a little bit closed. Sure. Uh, if we take a look at those numbers, you can see Apex. Yeah, face angle is four degrees closed. Right. I usually don't have my face four degrees closed. Right. So right. interesting to see here if this flies a little straighter, the numbers I'm going to get. Yeah. I, like I said, I still don't think I put a good swing on it yet. Right. It doesn't seem to be quite the top of side. No. I don't know if it's me behind the camera. But, uh, <laughs> let's let's find out what that utility would. Let's it could be the fact that. that we're filming here in my off season, could and be. I uh, it could catches up on me. I haven't done any practice in the last three or four weeks, so eventually it's going to catch up on me to keep my swing in robotic mode. <laughs> I'm sure it'll come back in this session right here. Take that golf ball. Yeah. There he is. Look at that though. That spin is down 3,100 again. You know, 255 on the carry. Right. That's got that driver DNA built in for I mean, sure. Those numbers, considering the club speed's less than two mile an hour difference, mm -hmm. just showing the uh, spin and the center of gravity and the way a club's designed, yeah. how it influences distance. Right, because this even has one more degree of loft on it than It than does, this, right? Because we were talking like, do we, do we put that uh, that 18 to 19? But right. no, we, we don't. Because <laughs> that's how it's going to influence face angle and everything like that. Correct, yeah. We don't need to. This just showcases the fact that even though this has one degree more loft on it, mm -hmm. spin rate is significantly less. Yeah, yeah that's, that is fantastic. That's a great swing right yeah. there. Let's see see if I can more. repeat it. It's a lot of ball speed there. Okay, so we finished kind of hitting those four shots there. I'll dive into the numbers a little bit, see what's going on. Yeah, so one thing I noticed was the consistency in club speed with both of them. We would notice the 100.0, 100.1 with the super hybrid, both rounds essentially. Yep. 101.9, 102.0, both rounds with the, with the Apex UW. Mm -hmm. That's quite, quite <laughs> interesting to see how consistent that is, but that comes down to the length of the golf shaft. A right, bit there half too. inch, right? 41.5 on the UW, right. 41 flat there. It's just, it's just a little bit over half an inch, yeah, yeah is, is what it is. Okay. Um, I think it's actually like 40.8 or something like that is sure. the actual length on the three hybrid for okay. the super hybrid. Um, so you can see energy transfer, pretty good with both of them. You can see the Apex UW, a little hotter. Yeah. You can see 1.5, actually a 1.51. Mm -hmm. People will say that's not possible, yeah. but it is. It's just showing you know, that it is a little bit more faster yeah. across the board. Yeah, and again, I want to trump on you know, the loft. It's got a degree more loft on it too. So seeing a 150, fitter-wise, you would think less loft is going to generate faster ball speed. But in this case, it kind of flip-flopped a little bit. Right, it flip-flopped. And you don't see it flip-flop very often. No. This is actually quite an interesting test mm -hmm. because it flip-flopped. You would expect less loft equals less spin and more ball speed. Right. Well, we saw the complete opposite here. And we're talking, it's not just close, it's really Dramatic. far apart. <laughs> yeah. If you take a look at those spin numbers, mm. it's, it is quite surprising. Round one, 34.65 average. Round two, 31.01 average. Yeah versus 44.99 and 46.68. Yeah. That's just like 1,500 RPMs of spin difference across probably eight shots. Right, Which right. is, that's a, that's a huge difference, and mother, that's, that's gonna equate to quite a lot more distance. Yeah, and I think that's you know, two completely different players that can you know, play this. Is it something where we need something to launch a little bit higher with more spin, then let's go super hybrid. Is it a guy that launches it high and we wanna get all the distance we can? Let's go UW. Yeah. Right. So it's great to see the differences with two different clubs from the Callaway line. Right. It's that is the most extreme test I think I've ever seen when it comes down to two clubs that, well, the loft is actually stronger on the super hybrid, but it went yeah. even less distance. You know, yeah. we're talking they equated thirty yards. Yeah. Is probably more than 30, 30, 30 yards. Yeah. Uh, overall, with regards to, to distance and. Yeah. I'm excited the fact that this comes with a 17 degree. Yeah. We don't have it. I, I can't wait to try it. I Same. might just have to order it myself because, Same. you know, I don't get too excited about golf clubs too, too often. But now, this I, one delivered, But this huh? one for me, initial testing and our swing report and just seeing the difference mm -hmm. it, it is making, it's, it's dramatic. And for a golfer that doesn't hit as, I mean, I'm a good player, mm -hmm. but I don't hit my fairway wood very well. Okay. 
and I just know this could be a great replacement for, I Absolutely. mean, I'm hitting this thing 270 yards. <laughs> We've got a couple of degrees less loft. We're talking 280 with a 17 degree. Uh, That's useful. Well, hybrid slash utility. Right. I guess so you could, yeah. Right, and this would be great off the tee too. You know, I think it'd be even lower spin tendencies to get it up and let it fly. You know, so this was a really right. good test. Really, really good. Yeah. So I guess, yeah, I'm probably a little bit more drawn to this based on the distance and knowing the gapping. Yeah. However, super hybrid, it has its place as well. It's True. not, it's not like it doesn't have its place. Yeah. It's got its place for those golfers that need a little more spin, need a little extra height. <laughs> this is just, this is just a super charged <laughs> distance club, right. essentially right. that. Right. Um, that has had a lot of success. You know, we've seen Phil Mickelson mm -hmm. uh, help design it. And, yeah. He believes it's in, it's in the market, so it's I like the numbers for sure. So golfers, if you like either the Super Hybrid or the Apex UW, make sure you come in in the second swing and get fit for one of these two options. If you're lucky, you might find Danny or I at Minnetonka, or else we have a very well qualified trained team that go for the same training at uh, at second swing. So I hope you love this video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and also give us some comments about the differences if you've ever been able to test these two clubs. Thanks for watching. <laughs>